Hey everybody, I just thought I'd sit in front of the camera today and do a quick vlog. It is Friday morning, May, what day is it? May 22nd, already. Um, still drinking my morning coffee. I will be live on Ustream later today, which will be recorded and posted to YouTube sometime over the weekend. And you're probably not seeing this until Monday. Um, but if you haven't watched the, if you didn't catch me on Friday on the live Ustream, the recording is on my channel, so you can go look at it. And it's going to be a two-hour video. The Ustreams are always really long, so, um, you know, just sit back, play me in the background <laughs> while you're having your coffee or, you know, speed through the boring parts where I'm repeating myself about, you know, you guys need to stay, stay in social stream because I uh, can't see chat. <laughs> I'm already assuming that's going to happen. Um, I do know that when you're watching me on Ustream, there is a way to turn off the postings to Facebook and Twitter. I don't remember exactly how to do that, but I do know there is a way to do that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what is What has been going on this week? Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on right now at my house. My daughter's getting ready to go to Spain, uh, Madrid, for three weeks. Um, at the from the middle of June to the beginning of July and uh, for school she's going to be studying there abroad and I am so proud of her for getting into that program and she's doing really well oh, but I'm a nervous wreck don't tell her <laughs> I'm a nervous wreck oh it doesn't help my anxiety at all <laughs> I'm already I'm like itchy and yeah it's just not good my logical start of my brain knows she's going to be fine she's going to have a great time and I want her to but, yeah, if I get a little weird at a, after a while, now you guys all know why. Weirder than normal. I mean, you know, I'm already kind of odd, so. <laughs> uh, what have I been doing art-wise? I have been studying like me crazy. Um, I just got done taking an online course with Pauline Agnew. If you don't know who she is, I'll try to remember to include a little link to her website in the description below. She's a fabulous uh, Irish artist, and she has lots of online art classes and live art retreats. And um, she's uh, an expressive painter, and she does lots of figure painting and expressive landscapes, and she's getting into expressive florals. I really admire her style and have for a long time. And I've learned a lot of what I know regarding painting from her. So if you like my style, you would love her style, so you should go check her out. Um, it's worth saving up to take one of her classes and she does have payment plans for the online courses and um, I just signed up for she's having an art retreat two art retreats this coming year in the United States um, one is in October in um, so here in San, near San Francisco here in California and the other one I think is also in October but it's on the other side of the US in North I think North Carolina um, I just put a deposit down I can't can't afford to pay the whole thing right now uh, which might mean I don't get a room and have to drive in every day from my house. So thankfully the retreat site is not too far from my house um, in case I end up doing that. Um, but I did put my deposit down so I at least have a space at the work table. <laughs> um, and I'm looking forward to it. That's going to be a lot of fun. And so anyway, I also have been, um, I got some DVDs from CheapJoes.com. If you don't know Cheap Joes, go over to them. Again, I'll try to put the link in the description below. It's a really great online art supply site, and they um, have a YouTube channel too, so look, up, look them up here on YouTube. Um, they have an artist on their YouTube channel um, who does little bits on there. Uh, her name is Janet Rogers, and she does expressive uh, watercolor paintings. Um, I just got done watching her expressive floral DVD. The one here on my desk I haven't watched yet is expressive watercolor portraits. And um, if it's anything like the floral DVD, yeah, I really, I'm going to love it. And I'm wishing we still had a portable DVD player because I'm going to want to take these DVDs around with me and watch them when we're in the car on road trips and review them ad nauseum <laughs> because there's a lot of little techniques in here that you want to just review and do and go back to. And yeah, they're really great. I also have gotten a lot of watercolor books recently. And I just sat and actually read one last night. Yes, read. 
normally when I get instructional art books, I skip, I admit, I skip ahead to the lessons. I don't go back and read anything unless I think there's something back there that I've missed that I need to read that I'm not getting about the lesson. I admit that. I do that. Yeah. Um, I've read two art instruction books in my life, like cover to cover. Jane Davenport's book, because I love Jane Davenport and I love her book. And this one I read last night. I'll get it for you. So again, this is about expressive watercolors, and this book is specifically about color and light in watercolor by Jean Haynes, um, and it's called How to Paint Color and Light in Watercolor. The cover looks like this, and I got it from Amazon. I'm sure you could get it other places. I would recommend that you check first at your library, especially if you're on a budget. They may have it, or one of the other branches may have it, and you can get it and have it sent over to the branch closest to your house and get it that way. Um, it's not a thick book, so it didn't take me very long to read, and it has a number of lessons in it that I can't wait to try, um, including a fuchsia study, and there's a number of other lessons in the back of the book. So you will see a lot of these show up on social media, so if you follow me on social media, I will be posting these little studies as I do them next week. The one I can't wait to try, but no, I won't skip ahead. Um, I'll do them in order that they are in the book, but there's actually two that I want to try. There's one for this um, expressive uh, landscape um, or urban scene. Um, I don't know if it's based on a real place. Let's see. just is called celebration of color it looks like it's like a castle it could be you know kind of anywhere or some kind of a cityscape uh, that's one of the lessons and then the other one is an expressive portrait and I really really cannot wait to try this one and I'll show you her finished version mine will probably look nothing like this and not as good but I'm gonna try and give it a shot so I can't wait. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And so I recommend this book if you're really liking my Watercolor Wednesday series um, and you want to do more watercolor paintings. Right now, this is who is influencing me a lot. And you'll notice when I started my watercolor journal, I started out doing these more field sketchy, blueprinty kind of things. And I thought the whole journal was going to be that way. We've kind of gotten away from that a little bit, haven't we? That's okay. So you need to listen to your muse, your inside art voice, and follow that path wherever she leads you, good or bad. You're going that way for a reason, and that's part of your art journey, and it's part of my art journey. And so I'm going to listen to that voice, and I'm not going to fight it. And um, we're going to just see where it takes me. And I'm rediscovering my love of watercolors. When I first started into painting and mixed media, although I, that's not, I didn't know that's what it was. Um, I started out with watercolor and it was easy to just pick up some watercolor paints. It was cheap and some paper and just start playing. I'm going to share some of that later on YouTube. So, I mean, you stream. So if you want to see more about that um, and you don't catch me live, look at the you stream recording. Um, but I, I, you know, I kind of got away from that a little bit when I started getting into acrylics and now I'm like, I'm rediscovering why I liked them so much. They are a lot of fun. And I have to say, I like my watercolors. I mean, my, I like my acrylics. I love my watercolors. Yeah, I do. Um, what else is going on? I ordered an empty schmink palette, um, so I really like their metal palette and I have a set of schmink paints and I would like to have that same palette filled with my favorite Daniel Smith colors. Daniel Smith doesn't have anything like that. And um, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> so I'm going to fill up my schmink empty palette when it comes with my Daniel Smith paints. And um, then when I am going on art retreats or on longer trips then it is going to satisfy me to just have a small like the Koi palette and I really am going to want like a wide range of colors then I can bring the Schmink and the Daniel Smith palettes with me and stuff them in my art bag to go and I love that idea and I may switch out my cooking club 
bag, because I do have a bag for my cooking club stuff, it may become my watercolor bag. I'm thinking I like that idea. So we'll see what happens. Um, ooh, this weekend we are instilling at my house, for all of you moms out there um, of adult kids or little kids, minor kids still, Anybody who lives at your house. Everybody who lives at my house is required to be here on Sunday. And not for the reasons you think. Once a month, we're having a house cleaning and purge day. Everybody in, uh, who lives here is going to help clean the house. Um, usually this is for bigger cleaning jobs. Like this weekend, the major project is cleaning the windows and inside and out. Um, I also have, of course, other things on the list like dusting and you know cleaning the bathrooms and vacuuming and all that. Um, we're also going to go into every single room in the house, every room, purge at least one thing. It could be a big thing, it could be a little thing, it doesn't matter, but one thing in every room in the entire house. We've lived here since 1992, and although maybe once or twice a year we clean out a closet or get rid of old clothes and donate them, we don't do a lot of purging otherwise. We have a lot of stuff. I don't want to live here forever. We do have plans to retire somewhere else. And although we don't know where that somewhere else is yet, I don't want to leave the purging and packing. <laughs> the last minute, there's too much stuff. The art room alone could take up a whole truck. <laughs> and yes, that includes the art room. Um, although I'm constantly purging the art room, so it's there's you know less. Uh, there's still stuff in here I could get rid of. Don't you know? Stuff that I don't use and I've just honestly kept for sentimental value. Um, but anyway, I think it's going to be good. We'll see how it works, but I think it's going to be a good thing. Um, and I would really like to get the whole family into doing that on a regular basis and not continue, continually having us bring stuff in, but we bring stuff in, something has to go out. Um, I, my little sister, Elizabeth, love you if you're watching this. Um, she, she's, try, she's tried to tell me I should be doing that for a long time. <laughs> And, you know, I just don't listen well. I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to try it, and I think that it's going to be a really good thing, and hopefully the adult daughter doesn't make an excuse to not be here. I don't think she's working or anything, so I really need her to be here to help us. Um, I think that's it now. That's a lot, right? Oh, no, there's one more thing. So starting June 1st, I'm no longer... Teaching at Michael's, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, there's a lot of reasons for it, none of which are, Michael's has not done anything wrong, and neither have I. Um, it's just time to move on. Uh, I love Michael's, I love the store, I still am going to be a frequent customer there, and if you're interested in teaching at Michael's, um, I recommend you go over there and talk to the manager. And if you are in the San Jose area, the Snell store needs an art teacher. <laughs> so go over there and talk to Jenny. Um, but because I'm going to have more time now, because I won't have that on my schedule, I'm thinking about for the month of June only, I'm considering doing a 30-day paint challenge. A painting a day for 30 days, starting June 1st. I'm thinking. At first I thought I would do 30 canvases, and then I thought, well, that's a lot of canvas. What am I going to do with all that canvas? I don't have any place to put anything already. And I thought, well, I could do paper. I could do watercolors, but then what if one day I want to do an acrylic painting? So I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a size, probably something like eight by eight. That is a size that keeps coming to me. I want to do a square. So I'm thinking about doing eight by eight on either watercolor paper or canvas paper. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, as soon as I find it, I will anyway. I can't find it. Oh, here we go. So this is a pad of Frederick's paper. This is a canvas pad. So these are 12 by 16 sheets of primed canvas. Um, and it's on a pad like, like watercolor paper. So I'm, I'm going to be doing a 30-day painting challenge. I'm going to be either doing canvas paper or watercolor paper. And I'm going to do a painting a day for 30 days. Now, I won't necessarily be showing them all on social media, but I am going to film them all. And they will be on YouTube. Um, they may be 
bundled into days, like I may not show one every day of the week, but I may bundle them and show like three of them on Monday and three of them on Wednesday and that sort of thing. Um, but, or I may bundle the video clips into one video. <laughs> I haven't decided that part yet, but I do want to film them all. We'll see what, how that happens. I may, I may film them all, uh, schedule them every day and then I may just schedule them out. So, you know, they post whenever. I think it's an interesting challenge. Maybe you want to take it with me. What do you all think about it? Would it be something you'd be interested in watching? Let me know, okay? All right. Don't forget to have a great day. Have a great holiday weekend and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later.